I'm joined today with Yvonne Hedigan of Bohemians. Yvonne, it's been a kind of a unusual few weeks for Bows. You had a couple of cancelled games. You had that game against Shelburne, which I'm sure you were good to lose in the way that yeah. you did. What's the feeling among the team at the moment? Um, look, obviously, uh, the game on Wednesday night, um, it's, a, it's a hard one to take uh, as a team. I think, though, in itself, the game, there was a lot of positives that we, we took from the game. Obviously, there was some things that didn't go in our favour, but to, to match one of the top teams in the league says a lot of how far we've come at both. Um, and obviously not to get even a result out of it, which I think would have been fair, I guess, to say. Um, it's just even that disappointment, it says a lot about how far we've come and how we want and we expected to get something out of the game. So, um, yeah, I think like it just shows how far we've, we've come. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. And obviously now you've got the, the cup coming up this week, game against DLR Waves. Do you think from that Shelburne game, obviously you didn't get the result you wanted, but it was a huge performance from Bowes. Do you think that you'll be able to uh, channel that again and kind of bring it in against DLR Waves? We're going to be another tough opponent. Yeah, so I think like the last few weeks, like the improvements, um, even against the likes of Wexford, like it was only a, it was a tight game again. It was only a, a one nil defeat. I think like we've improved massively um, as a team. I think we've, the structure, uh, the structured football that we're playing at the minute is a lot better. Um, I think also the girls aren't afraid to play anymore. You know, um, they're they're going out each game and and we're not afraid of any team that we go out against anymore. So, looking at Friday, like Dealer, a very very good team. I was at the match there. Um, on Saturday, obviously ours got cancelled, so I went up to have a look at the game on Saturday, and they're very good. They play very good football. Um, they play the ball really well, but across the back. But like that, once again, I don't think we're afraid in the slightest. I think we have two big training sessions ahead of us this week, you know, tonight and um, back in Dublin and, and Thursday. And uh, we just use them to focus and, and obviously drive off the Shelburne game. Um, and yeah, not not one bit afraid going into this game. I think it'll be a brilliant, brilliant match. I think it'll be extremely close. Um, but yeah, really excited, really looking forward to it. And... I know you're kind of talking about now how you, the team has grown in confidence and you've come a long way. Do you think the cup <clears throat> is coming at a really good time for you then to kind of get a success story out of that in the middle of the season? Um, yeah and no, I guess. Um, we have a few injuries in obviously in our squad. Obviously, uh, Izzy who plays alongside with me in centre half, she picked up a, a bad knock um, last week and still recovering from that. Um, and there's one or two other ones, little niggles here and there. So that's kind of side of it's a little bit hard. But other than that, on the confidence side, huge, like huge confidence going into this game. Um, all the other players are buzzing. Like there's a real buzz within the team. Um, I think like that, it was a huge, um, what word would I use? Like it was a huge thing, like a huge, um, I don't know how to explain it. Like when the, like, a huge statement, a huge statement yeah, yeah, out yeah. of the league that we're able to match any of the top teams now. So DLR is just another game for us. Um, so, yeah. And going back a few years, you used to play for Castlebar at the start of the Women's National League. How have things kind of changed since then, do you think, coming back into Bowes this season? Um, yes, yeah, so I obviously played in Castlebar. Um, I was starting Castlebar when I was 16, so I was young enough. Um and then I was with Gal. I was with Casper for three years, and then I went in with Galway for um, the duration of some of the season, as well. But I think the difference for me, anyway, between back then and now is, I was I was very young. I was a very young player back then. While well, now, um, I'm 24. I have a bit more experience behind me, and I'm more, I'm enjoying my football more. And I think when you're at, sometimes at a young age, you know, you have that little bit of pressure on you, and. Um, well now football is a lot more enjoyable. I'm in a more enjoyable atmosphere. Um, the girls are great. I, like I just, I'm loving it at the minute. Yeah, really enjoying it. Yeah, how has it been coming into Bowes? I mean, you've kind of solidified yourself as one of the the top players in the team. I think. Have you enjoyed the fact that you're playing with them now in the league? Yeah. So like all like 
since I started with Bose, even a management team like the likes of Sean, Pat, Dell, Usher, all the lads, like and Emma, they've, they've been brilliant. They've been so welcoming since the minute I came in, um, which makes it that like, little bit easier because obviously I'm, I'm originally not from Dublin. Um, so coming into a team where I didn't actually know that many of the girls uh, originally uh, was a huge difference for me. But like the likes of the girls and the likes of Aoife Robinson, Sophie Waters, all the girls were very welcome and real nice. So yeah, it just made it a little bit easier um, and more enjoyable. Yeah. I know you mentioned a couple of names there, but has there been anyone who has really stood out to you as someone you love playing alongside and someone who just makes you enjoy the football even more? Um, I think she'd probably kill me if I didn't say her name, to be honest, but I'd have to probably give it to Aoife Robin from Robbo. Um, <laughs> she's just an absolute gem, like, and she's always um, pushing for me to do better. And even she's suffering with a hamstring injury at the minute, but it's just been just been real nice and supportive of me on and off the pitch. Um, so yeah, I think she'd probably kill me if I didn't say her name. And what personal goals do you have for the rest of the season? Um, personal is just, I get through the, next, the rest of the season with injury, I guess it's probably <laughs> a personal thing, but I think, it, you know, it's soccer or football, like it's, it's a team sport at the end of the day. So I think for us to finish, like I, ideally would be great if we could try and push for that fifth and um, position in the league like in that that would be a massive achievement um for bows in regards to their position in last year so just to build on last year and obviously if we could try and push for that so I think that will be a goal if, if it's personal maybe not so much but I think it's a team sport at the end of the day so um it will feel personal with them yeah good answer and the uh, final question for you is, I don't know if you're aware, but you're kind of getting a reputation for being one of the toughest defenders in the league. No nonsense defender. Do you think that's a fair statement to make? Uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't really know what's in that one really. Um, yeah, I think like obviously the height probably helps a little bit um, and the head probably helps a little bit as well. But yeah, I think like in centre half, you have to be physically strong and um, it's just a part of the role in centre half do you know what I mean otherwise you're going to get pushed off the ball and that but um, yeah as Sean would like to say he made a statement recently in dressing room nearly died and he was like Big Yvonne so um, yeah so yeah no uh, definitely but I think it, it goes along with being playing centre half you have to be strong do you know so. yeah definitely all right well thanks very much for coming on and chatting with me today good luck on Friday and good luck with the rest of the season. I've no doubt that Bowes will continue to get stronger and stronger with you at the back. I'm sure it helps. Um, but yeah, good luck and thanks for chatting with me. Perfect. Cheers. Thanks so much, Alice.